Okay folks, this is just a quick wee demonstration showing you how you can set up a blank document and then also transfer images onto the, the document. Um, so what I'm going to do is start off by going to File, New and generating a, a blank canvas to work with. And I'm just going to keep it as A4, happy with that, and I'll just give it a, a name for sake for the moment. So presets at international paper, my size is A4, that's fine, my resolution is 300, I'm using this on the screen, so RGB colour mode is fine. Background contents will be white. So I OK, it's generated my, uh, my page for me. Um, now what I'd maybe like to do is rotate this so that it's landscape. If I go to image rotate canvas or image rotation, I can click on 90 degrees clockwise or um, counterclockwise, really going to have the same effect, but that's it turned on its side. Now what I want is a series of images to populate the image. So I'm going to start off with going to file open and go and find some images to work with. Now I've got a couple of images I've sourced off the internet here um, that we could use as part of a montage sequence. Um, so what I'll do is I'll select a few of them just now and hit open and you'll see that these start opening up the top on the different tabs and we can easily click between them all and there's my test document at the end. Now what I'm going to do is using the move tool select this panel to come down and sit side by side with my test document. Now, if I want to get this image onto my test document all I need to do is use the move tool, hold on the left mouse button, keep it held down until I'm on the panel You'll notice the icon cursor changes with the plus. When I let go of the mouse, there it goes, pops onto the image for me. So I can now close this because I don't need it. And I would name this layer so that I know exactly what it is. I'm just going to do that again with another image. I'm just going to pop the tab down so they're side by side. Move tool, grab the move tool, pop it on top, and you'll notice again that a new layer has been generated for this image, so we can move it independently and again name it so that we know where they are. Okay. Now if I want to resize these images similar to any other tasks that we've used, the transform tool before, edit, transform scale, and holding down the shift key you can transform the image to the size required. Uh, to populate the whole screen, hit the tick to commit to the transform, grab my second layer and move the object, the image, and I'm just going to pop it here. Okay, so you can continue to add as many images as you want onto a series of layers within Photoshop, but it is important to make sure that you are naming these layers so you've got an idea of uh, where they're sitting.